Do we have any answer on what what's on Donald Trump's? Like Donald Trump has has uh, his his hands are yeah. bleeding. Looks like he has very interesting. Honestly, now I've never had syphilis. I don't know anyone who's had syphilis, so I don't know about this STI. I just know that it can be intense. I know a lot of people sometimes think they have syphilis and or gonorrhea, and they feel like they can just get cleared up pretty quick. But I wonder how many people have it and don't realize they have it. I'm not sure that this indicates that he does have it. I think it's interesting that he did this. I don't know if it was for a reason. I know in the polls recently, there's been some speculation about him possibly winning. I know Ron DeSantis, DeSantis just decided to stop his campaign and basically endorse Trump. So again, I don't want to assume he has syphilis, but I think it's interesting. Is that magic sword? marker? No, is it magic marker? Because it looks like he has a... It could be magic marker, but it does kind of look like a sore. Sore on his index finger there. I don't know. I, maybe yeah. it's magic marker. The internet has uh, gone into full sleuth mode uh, <laughs> to basically figure out what the hell is wrong with Donald Trump's hand. Now, as former President Donald Trump left Trump Tower for the E. Jean Carroll testimony yesterday, uh, people were quick to notice the red splotches on his hand, which literally looks like blood. He literally has blood on his hand. Um, now, some people were quick to make jokes saying that it was the jelly from the jelly donut that he ate. Okay, first of all, hilarious. Second of all, if you're new to my audience, I do think like life is high school with money. So obviously these are grown adults and are, you know, TYT is pretty popular in the political sphere. Um, but they're, you know, we're going to sit here and talk about whether or not the president, former president has a uh, syphilis, which is interesting. And if he does, also interesting. I mean, STIs can be pretty prominent in uh, senior citizen homes, so catch up from last night's McDonald's run, red ink from secret documents. Uh, but some people like Democratic operative James Carville took it this. in a completely different direction. Let's watch. To the Drudge Report, and I think it'll still be- Matt up. Drudge, when I was younger, everybody was on Matt Drudge's website. Like the Drudge Report was everything. I just so interesting to me because I've been in politics since so long. So it's, you know. The, the, there's a story that talks about Trump having hand cuts. And you can link to it. They don't look like cuts to me. They look like sores. And it looks like ligma to me. Blah, 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 blah. And I've asked a number of MDs what medical condition manifests itself through hand sores. And the answer is immediate. And you don't. Okay, hold on. Don't you think it's kind of wrong to just send a picture of his hand to an MD and be like, what is this? Diagnose it. What are you, Jake Doolittle? Anonymous. Secondary syphilis. All right, I think that, look, I think, he's so confident. I love the sit back. I love when he sits back and he's like syphilis. There's a good chance this man has to clap. The, the clap, bruh. You know, maybe the picture was doctored or whatever, but I, maybe this story will go somewhere. Maybe it won't. But I'm telling you, at one o'clock Eastern, I'm humping this thing like a young dog on old furniture. Humping it like what? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Interesting, right? Interesting. Wow, I've <laughs> I've never heard the phrase secondary syphilis. I didn't know what that was. It's universal. Every doctor agrees. <laughs> Every doctor. They just, hey, look, it's Hassan's nephew. Just okay. look at that picture. They got secondary syphilis. So apparently, it's not a different type of syphilis. It's the same disease. It's just a different like stage of the disease. Um, and according to the CDC- Yo, Anna's makeup looking good, bro. A reddish rash can be down on one's- Her eyeshadow and eyeliner in particular, and her lip. Palm during the secondary stage. And it's sometimes so faint that you won't, it's not secondary syphilis, guys. Like, Well, hold on, hold on. Now we're gonna have different theories and we're gonna give you facts here. This is okay. so dumb, okay. So I, I looked up famous people who had syphilis. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> And Donald Trump was the first one to come out, so it must be true. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Uh, so uh, th these are theories, uh, Christopher Columbus, uh, Al Capone, Hitler. Now the Al Capone one is pretty much confirmed. Uh, and But what happens, uh, Nietzsche was a possibility. What happens at the very end of syphilis is you lose your mind. It Do you remember the Johnny Depp movie where he has syphilis? I just remember it. It was really weird and there's like lots of sex in it. And yeah, it, it uh, <laughs> you become deranged, etc. That's part of the reason why they thought <laughs> maybe Hitler had it, but Capone definitely did, and uh, etc. So uh, Donald Trump, a little deranged. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. Okay, in all seriousness, this is actually, you know, honestly though, why wouldn't he have syphilis, guys? STIs are rampant. I don't know why we think we have good STI health in America or anywhere around the world. We're so bad when it comes to STI health. Even me. 
who's like self-aware about STI help, we understand, right? Did I not just tell you a story about HPV? Okay. It is not all tests come up on paperwork. Not all doctors want to test you for everything. Do you know to get full panels? You have to ask for everything. You have to ask for everything. You know, it costs so much money. You think he wouldn't have an STI by now, bro? Where the hell did he get syphilis from? Okay. What do you mean who the, what do you mean who the hell? You think Trump don't get boned, bruh? You think Trump don't get bent over and pegged, bruh? You think, like, Trump don't get sex, bruh? We know he gets sex because of Daniels, right? We know he gets sex. So, like, what do you mean where do you get it from? What does that even mean? You know what I mean? Like, what does that even mean? So, I look, actually, wait a minute. He did have unprotected sex like, with the, uh, you know, with I don't uh, care. adult actresses I don't and care. stuff. Like, right, anyway, <laughs> seriously, guys, this is the... The only serious part of the part of the story. I don't get, There's we'll get, a serious part to the yeah, story. Yeah, there is, okay. and I'll get back to why he. I think he has uh, the marks there on his hand. But the serious part is, mm. if Biden had that right now, every MAGA guy would be convinced for the rest of time that he had syphilis plus gonorrhea plus AIDS, etc. Yeah, they would, and we uh, would because Biden's a liberal who's probably having gay orgies in the White House, bro, as he should. Make fun of them. That's right. Yeah, and we, That's right. They, we, we would see them as unserious people. So, That's like, right. why so do we want to join that co? <laughs> Hannah, Hannah, <laughs> I can hear him addressing it. I have the best syphilis of all the syphilis. I have the best one. I have the best kind, guys. I have the best kind of syphilis. Shake my hand. Shake, shake my hand. <laughs> Cohort of unserious. No, people. my point is a we don't want to join them. Correct. Okay, Correct. so oh, we want to be above the MAGA. Be like, don't listen to James Carville. Like I Carville when he says Biden can't win, he's right. He's talking about facts and numbers. In this case, totally making up secondary syphilis and saying all the doctors agree. Okay, mm -hmm. so don't be like MAGA. On the other end, MAGA, do you see what happens when the shoe's on the other foot or the bloody hand is on the other hand? Okay, why is like why did Z do this? Why are you trying to be bigger than the people who, generally speaking, have become anti-vax and anti-fax? And also, why are you trying to, like, appeal to them? Like, I get it. He's he's like a little liberal, and I love that. Like, I love a liberal. You know what I mean? But, like, why are we pretending that mm, if you're a MAGA person, that you haven't probably already, like, you've already decided. And I'm as somebody whose family is mostly MAGA. I get it. Or a big part of her family is mostly MAGA. I understand and I love them so much, but like I don't have conversations with them, them about these things because I love them. Sometimes we talk about politics, but we try really, I try really hard to avoid it now. I used to love getting into arguments, but now I'm like, that is it. Because literally, I'm not going to have conversations with people, um, generally speaking, that have already decided um, that they're not changing their ideas, right? They're not going to change. So I'm good, like, which I love. By the way, if you guys are new to my audience, I don't think you're obligated to change your ideas. I think they're all made up, anyways. I think we're all just sitting here pretending we know what we're talking about. But I think in general, I'm going to side on data more than anything else. And I think MAGA people in general, I don't know what they're doing, but they're really trying to reinvent the wheel for no reason. And I don't know why you're doing that. Why are you trying to reinvent the wheel? Like, I don't even get it, right? So anyways, that's why I'm like, I don't understand why people are doing that. But you do you. Humans are going to human. Now, with that said. I don't think it matters like who would be the bigger person and whether or not Trump has syphilis. The point is, is that he's old enough. He probably has had syphilis before or does have syphilis. I don't know why we all think we're getting out without some STIs along the way, bros. Or we're not going to get out of this without some sort of one time getting something at some point. Right? Like, he probably has something or doesn't have anything. Or he's old or it was cold outside and his hands chipped. Either way, I don't know what he's doing. What is this liberal take? If if this was reversed, they'd be making fun of our guy. It's like, okay. Okay. And? Like, when you guys make cuckoo stuff, you all believe it 100%, right? Mm -hmm. But when they say it about Trump, I guarantee you every MAGA guy's outraged. I can't believe it. How dare you make up things? You guys do it 24-7, right? So, uh, like, we're full-blown idiocracy at this point. I know. I think that's why I'm so, like... Look, I don't care if people are having fun, whatever, do you, do you have fun? I guess I'm just sick of the circus, you get what I'm saying? Like I watched that- I mean, there is a burnt out, a burnout we're all having, right? I love politics for a reason. It's just like a cesspool of human beings just like yelling at each other and they don't even care about what's right or what's moral or what's interesting or what's ethical. They just care about winning, which fair, I guess. Politics has always been that way. So why would it be different now?
MSNBC segment with like a billion, like really you need a, a panel of 25 people to discuss Trump's bloody hand. They, they sound so stupid and it's just embarrassing. Like I'm sick of the circus. I just, I'm at a point where I look at the country and I look at everything that's falling apart and I want things to get better. But they're what are you 12? What are you 12, Anna? I'm just kidding. You look great, girl. You're gorgeous, you know? Um, but I don't know. It just sounds kind of, this is why I don't do politics either. Like, what are you, 12? This is why philosophy is important. This is like recognizing like you're a human being on a floating rock in the sky and you don't need to like drown yourself in nihilism or drown yourself in hedonism or drown yourself in hopelessness. Okay. You need to meditate and understand that politics has always been the circus. And yes, thank you for, okay. Thank you for all the commenters. Anna has literally been a part of the circus. Why is she pretending she's above it? Literally, yes, both two two people at the same time were like, um, Anna, literally, how could she not acknowledge her own contribution to the circus? She keeps doing it anyways. Like, I see Anna around. She's doing it anyways. So the idea that it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is what I'm saying. Get out of politics if you want to stop the circus. But she can't because, like, that's her whole shtick. They're never going to get better because everyone's distracted by the sideshows. Who gives, who cares about his bloody hand? He, it's... He probably well, there is a second serious point there. There, okay, because all of these politicians are super old, right? So Mitch McConnell had uh, bruised hands, and so people are like, "Oh, well, that's weird. Why does he have bruised hands?" And then people are like, "I oh, don't worry about it. It's probably not a big deal." And then a couple of weeks later, yes, he had that neurolo likely neurological issue. Right. Yeah. So he had some issue. Mm -hmm. People said, "Oh, it's not that big a deal," and then it turned out it kind of is a big deal when he started freezing in front of the press conference. So look. These health issues for these 200 year old politicians are an actual problem. But I don't think this is one of those. And mm -hmm. the political system has secondary syphilis. That's, that's, yes, that's the yes. real problem. Man, politics is so, I love them and I'm not talking about them as people. But this whole conversation is like talking about the weather to me. This is small talk for politics. It's meaningless, nothing was said, nothing was said. Okay. Absolutely. And the, the entire system has become syphilitic clowns. So, okay, now what's the real answer? Probably very likely what the doctors actually say is dry skin when it's cold is very, very normal. And sometimes it could do that. It'll crack. It'll, it'll crack, bleed. et cetera. Mm -hmm. And sometimes blisters, et cetera. But the other thing is Donald Trump plays golf. And so that looks like the part you'd hold the golf club. If you had dry skin and you have friction from the golf club, that's exactly what your hand would look like. The easiest explanation by far. I mean, why wouldn't Trump just come out and say that? Or the most likely. Mm. Man, I gotta say, winter is really not friendly to your skin. Oh yeah, I have incredibly dry skin. Oh God. Yeah. Wow, this is riveting, bro. And you ask me why I just do philosophy now? This is riveting, wow, riveting. <laughs> and no shot on them, this is what politics is, but damn, this is rivet. I am, wow. That's great, bros. Was this not small talk for politics, bro? Man, I can't believe I used to eat this shit up for all of my 20s, bro. I just used to snort. I would just snort the fuck out of politics. And now I'm like, how did I ever sit through this? How did I ever sit through this? Overall, let me just say this. The answer to humanity's crisis is introspection and compassion, which means to suffer with. And a radical acceptance that you're not perfect and you won't see everyone perfectly and you won't get along perfectly with the world. Okay? That's what the answer is. Certainly not politics. In my head, in real life while I'm dead, my belly's being fed and I'm okay. I'm just fine, yet all I do is whine, not to you in my mind, cause I know I don't make sense. I've been nothing but blessed So why's my life a mess? Please tell me cause I'm sick of thinking Yeah, I'm sick of reaching out for the truth And living life as a fool Dun, dun, dun.